Let's start off by saying thank goodness this race is not for points. This is probably one of, if not the most inexcusable race in NASCAR history. This is the 2022 Texas All-Star Race. The weekend actually started off pretty good with the pit crew challenge. It was fairly entertaining. When the race started, it was probably one of the most boring all-star opens I've ever witnessed. Basically, whoever got out front after the restart was basically guaranteed the win. The only competitive car was Tyler Reddick, but he unfortunately crashed off of turn number four. Again, his left rear was on that seam, much like Landon Castle, almost in the exact same spot. With six laps to go, there was actually an interesting battle between Kyle Busch and Ross Chastain. Kyle Busch went out on the battle and drive away. This is where the entire race went to shambles. Kyle Busch cut a tire coming off turn number four, and Ross Chastain flew over him, causing a massive accident. From that moment on, after the restart, I would say this is one of the most boring races I've ever witnessed in person. Basically, all they did was just log laps. You couldn't really do anything. It was a single lane racetrack, and there was no action on the track at all. During the race, there was a couple crashes with Christopher Bell and Eric Jones, but there really wasn't anything exciting or major with those crashes. Coming down to the white flag, Mike Joy says over the broadcast, this race must finish under the green flag. Remember, this race must end under the green flag. I don't know if nobody heard him or nobody even realized that he said that, but lo and behold, coming off a of turn number two, Ricky Stenhouse barely touches the wall, and NASCAR is so trigger happy, they throw the caution flag when Ryan Blaney is less than 100 feet from the finish line to take the checkered flag. I would say over 90% of the people watching this race live or on TV thought Ryan Blaney won the race. Nobody really saw the caution come out. The whole broadcast made it seem like Ryan Blaney won. The NASCAR fan base was extremely enraged and nobody was happy. Well, Ryan Blaney takes down his window net, assuming, you know, he won the race. And in the rule book, you must have your window net fastened or you will be black flagged and brought down pit road, losing all your positions. Well, Ryan Blaney didn't want to do that, so NASCAR just logged like 15 laps under caution, praying that he would fasten his window net and can get it back up. From photo evidence, Ryan Blaney technically did not ever have his window net fastened, but NASCAR threw the green flag, they took back off, and thank goodness Ryan Blaney won. It was one of the most inexcusable races in NASCAR history at one of, if not, the worst mile and a half. The whole night was a disaster, and I was just glad to get out of there once Ryan Blaney won.